We were examining the populations along the frontier of the Roman world in the 6th century that moved into Italy subsequent to about 568 and trying to understand how these societies were organized internally uh, and also their relationships between the mixed communities in this area and the communities of the indigenous populations in these areas prior to their arrival. Our background knowledge of the so-called barbarian invasions comes exclusively from Roman sources uh, that is external. We don't have any sense within the societies of how they were organized, how they understood themselves and their background. This is an opportunity to look in a comprehensive way at two communities based on the genetics as well as the cultural archaeology as well as the isotopic signals within these two populations. So it gives us a new way to understand European populations during a particularly critical period of European history. For the first time, we're able to look at whole cemeteries and only in that way can we catch the complexity and the breadth of populations within these two communities. We have two very interesting findings for us at least. First of all, we found that there was a strong organization by a series of male lineages in both of these communities. It seems to be a core of uh, multi-generational men who are represented at least in death as warriors. And this seems to be the fundamental uh, grouping within these cemeteries. Secondly, we found that it's a very mixed community with population that represent at least two different genetic pools. One is more directed to Central and Northern Europe by affinity, the other more similar to Southern Europeans. And we found that these groups shared not only a biological ancestry, but also they would distinguish culturally, so that the northern group as richer burials, jewelry, weapons, deeper graves in the same area in the cemetery, while the southern group is uh, much, buried in much poorer graves, they have no jewelry, no weapons, shallower graves, so there's a correlation between genetic background and cultural representation, suggesting that these are part of the same community, they're buried in the same place, but that there's a real differentiation both biologically and culturally. The project was a very international and interdisciplinary project. It involved historians, geneticists, and archaeologists, with scholars and scientists from all of these disciplines working as equals together in organizing the project, determining what should be studied, determining methods, and doing interpretation. So a truly international, interdisciplinary uh, project that I hope will provide a model for how this kind of methodological convergence can be applied to more recent periods of world history. Our next project is to look backwards a century and see if the structures that we have found for the 6th century were already present in the Danubian region in Italy a century, two centuries before. We also want to look forward and see if we can find in Italy as this immigrant population and indigenous population live together, do we begin to see the, these two groups merging into a single unified population?